everyone. We're just going to give it a couple more minutes just to give some time for people to get in here soon. We'll get started in about two minutes. Hope everyone's having a good Thursday. The sun's shining here in South Dakota and it is gorgeous. We don't have many, they say this is a Chamber of Commerce kind of day. We don't have a lot of these in the middle of summer in South Dakota. Either the wind's blowing or it's 90 degrees and not. 90% humidity. Yes. It's beautiful here in Council Bluffs today, too. <laughs> I'll take it. So I just appreciate that you're here instead of sitting outside. Give it one more minute. All right, so we will go ahead and get started. Uh, first of all, welcome everyone and thank you for participating in today's webinar, The Benefits of BBB Accreditation for Your Business. I am Jenny Zakeski and I am the Programming and Communications Manager here for the Better Business Bureau, Midwest Plains. Just to let you all know, we are recording today's webinar and later on we will send a follow-up email over to you with a link of the webinar as well as the presentation information and Jesse's contact information as well as mine. Um, also, if you have questions throughout the presentation, please go ahead and put them in the Q&A section or in the chat uh, area and we will answer the questions as they come in throughout the presentation today. So with that, um, we are very fortunate today to have our very own vice president for the South Dakota region of BBB Midwest Plains, Jesse Schmidt. Jesse has 12 years of experience here at the Better Business Bureau. Jesse combines a unique blend for for-profit and non-profit expertise. She finds the most fulfilling part of her role to be advocating for the nearly 11,000 outstanding business partners within the BBB Midwest Network. Today, Jesse will be explaining the benefits of accreditation and demonstrating how to utilize some of the excellent tools provided by us. So with that, welcome, Jesse, and it is all yours. Thank you. Again, thank you all for joining us today. Uh, I am going to head and share my screen, and I am you know what they say about assume, but I'm assuming you are looking at the benefits of accreditation. So again, as Jenny said, my name is Jesse Schmidt and I'm pleased to be with you today. Uh, so one of the things that, that we find interesting is what are other people saying about the Better Business Bureau? And I found this really interesting. Consumers consider the BBB adheres to BBB standards as having a higher level of trustworthiness more mature generations view BBB accredited businesses, more likely to act in good faith. So uh, I think that is something that really is at the forefront of what we want consumers that come to us looking for information to know. Uh, another thing I wanted to say is again, if you think of a question, please go ahead and ask it while you're thinking of it because if you're anything like me, by the time it gets to the Q and A section, I'm gonna forget what I was gonna ask. Uh, and then because you are going to get all this information, I'm not going to read some of these slides to you. They're just going to be something that you may want to reach back and take a look at um, at another time. But we have really 10 what we feel are really unique benefits of BBB accreditation. And 
They start with enhanced visibility, um, boosting your online presence, that you have a trustworthy team that's working with you. We offer dispute resolution services. Again, a dedicated account manager behind that trustworthy team. The review solution is something that's unique to only our accredited businesses. Being BB accredited, increase your trust and credibility across the marketplace. Uh, we also have an e-quote feature, feature that's great for businesses. And then lastly, you have a BBB response portal and your BBB business profile. So we're gonna to touch on all of those things. So enhanced visibility, the high domain authority of the BBB uh, means that when somebody Googles the name of your company, your BBB profile is likely to be high in those search results especially if you optimize your profile. Uh, and then BBB rating, positive reviews, as well as a link from BBB.org back to your website, really have the potential to improve your web searches search position. Your profile is where your potential clients see where your BBB letter grade is, your status, customer reviews, pictures of your work. And we're gonna go into this a whole lot more as we go on. Um, not only does your profile help your company showcase your brand as being reputable and trustworthy, uh, but potential clients can contact you there through the request a quote feature. And But to see your profile, they need to find it. So showing up in those first few pages is really, really important. <clears throat> a trustworthy team. Your accreditation places you in a network, as Jenny said, you know, of really 11,000 businesses across the Midwest Plains. And a recent survey of more than 3,000 consumers found that six out of 10 of those consumers would choose a BBB accredited business over a Google five-star business with all the same conditions. And again, uh, we saw this data recently as well. Um, but it, it just lends that that honesty and integrity is the number one most important characteristic when you're someone is choosing a business in the US and Canada. And again, this was a recent survey as well. And we also offer dispute resolution services. I will tell you, oftentimes people think of the BBB as the place to complain. I will tell you that we're starting to see that uh, to be less and less of what people think of first. Um, but our dispute resolution services, uh, they allow consumers and businesses to have a far better chance of resolving an issue. Um, and the response portal allows businesses to manage all of your complaints and reviews in one easy to use convenient location. And we're going to, we're going to go, into that a little bit more as uh, on the next slide. And again, you find access to this portal. And again, this is an exclusive benefit to those of you that are accredited, but this is really where you manage it. And I'm gonna take uh, you through this uh, in more detail at the end when we're looking at the, at the business portal. But again, here's the home spot where you can manage complaints and reviews and ask questions. Uh, at a glance, you're gonna know exactly what's going on. This company has no complaints that require their attention and no customer reviews that require their attention. As a BBB accredited business, you have a dedicated account manager and they are gonna to touch base with you at least annually and they are going to go over some metrics with you if they can get 15 minutes of your time uh, to really, again, do a deep dive in what are the analytics. Again, for this business, you can see that they had 23 consumers have looked at their better business profile within the last 12 months. And for this size of business, uh, I actually met with this business and we went over this and he's like, Gosh, this is terrific because he said, you know, you just never know. People don't often say, oh, I checked you out on the Better Business Bureau. 
but we know um, our analytics let us know exactly how many people are coming to your profile through bbb.org. <clears throat> this slide, this is a larger business. You can see they had 633 profile views. They had four people <laughs> click from their web website to their business profile, two customer reviews, and two actually requested a quote. This Lloyd Companies is a property management company. And for them, they're like, wow, this is not where we thought we got anybody looking. So it's good to know. And they said, too, they they have got some ideas on how they can increase that visibility. So, again, these are all things your dedicated account manager wants to share with you on an annual or semi-annual basis. Um, there's a way for you to access this all yourself, but we do have a, a unique product that um that we can put together. And if we can get the time and have a conversation, there's always some really light bulb moments for, for both the business and ourselves. Again, I'm back to this outdoor kitchen. This really sh went into depth uh, as to what this review showed them. Um, so they showed up 25 times, but in their service area, which is in the Omaha, Southwest Iowa, in the last month, they knew that how many people looked at outdoor furniture. And in the last month, in the last 36 months. So again, this was really eye-opening for them and something that they found very helpful. Another unique benefit of accreditation is the review solution. Um, we know that reviews are something that consumers are looking for and really, it's getting harder and harder to discern what's a legitimate review and what's a not a legitimate review. So we have this product called the Review Solution that is offered exclusively for accredited business only. And um, BBB solicitation is included in your BBB accreditation. And this business does offer an enhanced version for Google. And if you've got more uh, questions about that, your dedicated account manager is happy to answer more questions, but it allows you to capture reviews through a text message, through an email, uh, however it works best for that client. You just enter, the, if you're gonna do it through a text message, you enter their name, you enter the phone number and you click send, it shows up on their device, whether that's an email or a text message, um, and what, again, is unique about our BBB reviews is that we vet our reviews. We ensure that they are a client of yours. Uh, I don't know if any of you have had the uh, had it happen where a review is posted to your um, Google page, for instance, and it's they have you confused with another business that they never did business with you. It's very, very hard to get those reviews removed via Google. Uh, but one of the benefits of our accreditation and of the review solution is that we vet these reviews to ensure that they have had a consumer interaction with you. You can personalize this text message. You can see here it says, uh, Aaron, thank you for choosing Cran Landscaping. Please leave a review. So it's personalized, it's mobile friendly. It's very quick. Um, and again, one of the things that makes our reviews different is that we verify the identity of every customer we attempt to. Um, you can challenge the identity of that reviewer before it's posted. Uh, every re review is sent to the business prior to being posted. And that personally identifiable information does not get posted or shared. So. Uh, we Again, it's an opportunity to work with a business. And <clears throat> I tell businesses, it's important to respond to both positive and negative reviews because a consumer can see at a glance um, if a business is trying to work with, with a consumer um, and they've made multiple attempts, uh, then, it, then it sometimes lets the third party that's looking in be like, wow, you know, they certainly made multiple, multiple attempts. It 
it doesn't really look like the consumer was really interested in working with that business. Or again, it just gives a little bit more depth of perspective. Uh, that's what both uh, our businesses and consumers have told us. Another feature is that our request to quo feature. This is a special system, links consumers to accredited businesses, uh, and it allows those prospective customers um, that are interested in your products just to reach out. This company, uh, Jim's Moving and Delivery, you can see over the last uh, few months, they've already had 10 request to quotes. And we always say that we are not a lead source, but there are times when consumers want to deal only with accredited businesses. And this is really a wonderful feature. Now, there are some guidelines and guardrails around this, and I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail on that. So once a business, whoop, once a business receives a, a request to quote inquiry, you have an opportunity to accept or reject that inquiry. Sometimes uh, the, the, it can be really granular and it'd be like, oh, well, that's a unique bit niche um, to, you know, let's say it's concrete and maybe they want concrete stamping and that's not one of the things that you do. So then you would, um, you would not reply to that inquiry. So you would refuse that request. And then oftentimes your account manager will reach out to you and say, hey, is there a reason that you didn't accept that request? And they'll be like, yep, that's that's not something that we, we have time to do right now. Or maybe we're just really busy and I, I don't want to lead a consumer to believe because sometimes a consumer will say, oh, I need this work done within, you know, within the next 30 days. And as if you're in the trades, you know that that would be really hard to honor that request uh, during this really, really busy time. So again, it's something that you can accept or reject and you can do it right through, you'll get an email if we have you set up for email or you're gonna get a text message. Uh, and again, not everybody's set up for text messaging uh, for request to quote, but if it's something that you are interested in, your account rep could easily get you set up on there and wants to get you set up there. Again, moving through the request, you get more details about what the consumer is looking for, um, reaching out to see if you are interested. This person wanted asphalt sing shingles. Um, is this an insurance job? Because oftentimes uh, in our area, we have seen a lot of storms the last several weeks. So some of these businesses are very adept at working with insurance companies. And that's why that question has been added to certain TOBs, what we call type of business inquiries. One of the things that we want our businesses to know that um, your dues help increase an organization's trust and credibility because that is what the BBB is widely associated with. Even for established organizations, the opportunity to underscore your transparency is really, really important to consumers. And again, this survey, I'm going back to a little bit about what we talked about before. If you look at every age demographic, 18 to 24, all the way up to 65 plus, Honesty and integrity, trust and credibility was the most important factor for every single demographic. So again, it's one of those pinnacle things that we say that your BBB accreditation uh, lends your businesses uh, to being more trustworthy. And again, that's one of the standards of accreditation is that you, you, <clears throat> You act honestly and with a high level of integrity. And consumers oftentimes know that, you know, uh, they've gone through that vetting process. So something to think about when 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 they're deciding on who they want to engage uh, in a business. So one of the things that we feel is so important for benefits for businesses 
we know how busy you are and that oftentimes when you have an opportunity to log into your portal might not be a convenient time for when we're when we reach out to you it might not be the most convenient time and we want you to have access at any time so this business portal makes that available to you it really is the key to optimizing your bbb accreditation and how you access that is you go to bbb.org in that upper right hand corner it'll say business login you click on that you want to make sure you're on the BBB serving the Midwest Plains. You're going to enter your email and your password. And if you haven't logged into it before, then you can just click one of these, create my login account, or perhaps you forgot your login. Uh, but it's really, really quite easy. And then when you get to the portal, here it is. The left-hand rail is all the things that you have available to you. And you can just click at them on a glance. And then <clears throat> here's the ones that we think uh, businesses have told us are the most beneficial to them. One is your certificate of accreditation. You can click there. You can print this out. And if you're a business that um, goes to somebody's home and takes a look at a job and perhaps put a proposal together, showing them this certificate is really, really helpful. It lets them know really how long you've been accredited. It's signed by you and by our president. So again, goes to showing your trust, honesty, integrity. The payment center, you can track your payments uh, over the last 10 years. Also something that is really helpful if you get an invoice and you, you wanna just go online and pay it really quickly, you can do that in the payment center. If you want to add the BBB logo to your website or perhaps um, show the logo on your, your social accounts, you can do that all right here. Again, the response portal that we talked about, exclusive to accredited businesses. And again, the BBB online store, maybe it's time, maybe you need some more bid stickers or maybe the decals that you have on your truck or your trailer starting to look a little faded, then you can access the BBB store and place an order through there. I wanna get on and show, um, for instance, a here again, Lloyd Companies, here's their business login page. Um, as I shared, we can look at the payment center. You can see here's their history how long they've been accredited, what their business dues are. Uh, easy to make a payment there. The accredited business seals, you can access them right here. You can click on it. It gives you the code. If you don't know how to add these to your, to your website, so many of our accredited businesses, <clears throat> click on here. They copy that code. They email it to their website designer they get it loaded correctly. And again, the great thing about that BBB logo on your website is it's interactive. You can click on it on your website and it'll take you right to your business profile or vice versa. They're on their business profile and they'll click over to your website. That is one of those things that again, Google likes uh, and it helps you with your search results. We talked about that certificate. You can download that certificate right here. It jumps up, here it is. You can print it out. It's signed by our president. It shows our standards of trust right on there. You sign it and date it. And it's, a, as I said, for those of you that are in the business trades that go to consumers' house and homes uh, or to their business, this is something that businesses find very, very helpful. Jesse, quick question. Yes. In regards to the seals, is there like a step-by-step -step of how to put those on people's websites? Yes. If you click in here a little bit more, it kind of walks you through that. Here's what it tells you what it's authorized to do. And then if you click on here, it gives you more, more details. And again, if you run into any struggle doing that, our account reps are going to 
walk you through that as best they can. I'll tell you, we're not website gurus necessarily, but we have a few people on our team that have been able to walk people through that uh, and have had some, some success. Here you can manage your subscriptions. What do you want to opt into? What do you not want to opt into? Wanted to show you this response portal. Here you can see in here, they've got zero complaints requiring their attention, zero reviews. But you can see they there are nine complaints over their history. And, uh, and I always tell businesses, the great thing about complaints is they cycle off after three years. We know, so for instance, um, we had a business that is in the window industry and grew very rapidly uh, like two years ago and was having trouble getting back to consumers in a timely manner. And they had a couple complaints on that exact uh, issue. They've been able to grow with a little bit more um, calculation and they were able to add some people and she's like, oh my gosh, I don't want these complaints to live out here forever. And I said, you know, that's the great thing. After three years, the these will cycle off. So we know that, you know, business is a bumpy road and we have our highs and we have our lows and we don't want to be judged just by our lowest moments in time. So again, just know that those complaints will cycle off after three years. Online store. This is something that really is uh, great for you because it allows you to use just the products that you need. So if your business has a plaque and you want a new sticker, go ahead. You can order it right there. Bid stickers. These, again, are really helpful to those businesses that put proposals together and send them out to consumers. You can slap one of these on your proposal right away it communicates to that consumer that you're BBB accredited. If you are the business type of business that goes to trade shows in a certain time of year, it's great to have these uh, table tents. Again, it lets consumers know that you are accredited without even having to say anything. Again, because of that trust and credibility is so important. Vehicle clings, like I say, sometimes these can get old and ratty and you need to replace them. Some businesses like magnets, we don't send out too many of these anymore, but outside chance that you need them, they're available to you here. And then window clings. Oftentimes businesses that have a storefront, window clings are great to have, right? Somebody is walking into your business. <laughs> Excuse me. It again lets them know that you're accredited at a glance. You can link to it here. You can link to it here. It's all going to take you to the same thing. And then your business info. This is a great spot where you can, um, it walks you through your business information. You can add biz videos. You can add photos. Again, there are some requirements around these. And once you click into there, it will tell you what those are. And again, your account manager can answer any questions as it relates to that. And then just, an, again, this annual review lets you take a look. Oh, you know what? My business has moved. I want to update with my new address. You can do that here. I have a different mailing address. You know, my shop is here. I want all the bills to go to my house. You can update that here. Any additional locations that you have? What kind of phone numbers do you want to be primary and secondary? These primary ones will show up on your business profile. These secondary ones will not. What's that main email that we want consumers to look at? You can fill that in right here. And here's all the other people in your organization that you have asked us to have be a part of your profile. So all of these things you can take care of and make changes on yourself. And then we just want some verification. So we ask that you submit it, your title, your email, you check this box to 
certify that this is you and review and save the changes. And we say up here, please give us a little bit of time. Um, it can take three to five days for these updates and changes to show up in your business profile uh, because we're working on an API. Uh, but again, after that time, your BBB business account manager is more than happy to walk you through that. The insights metrics that we talked about earlier where you saw that graph, again, you can access all of these things yourself. Great to see, gosh, people were looking to move to a new uh, residence uh, in October. And then again, so you can, it allows you to see some peaks and valleys and maybe there's some things we can do to drive consumers more here to these slower times, or we just know that maybe that's a cyclical time for our business. This is what I showed you earlier, the profile views, the website clicks, customer reviews, and then potential leads. <clears throat> and then again, this asks you, is your profile complete? And it's gonna take you right back to that page that we were on before, where you can update your business profile. We have had some businesses that want a QR code that they want to put on their business pro uh, business cards. So you can, again, you can create this sample. You can add it to your business cards. You can add it to your, your uh, website or to your Facebook page. Consumers scan it and it'll take them right to your business profile. It's exclusive only to you. Anybody have any specific questions about the business profile or the business login? Excuse me. Uh, one question, Jesse, is can multiple people within the business and organization have different username and passwords to log in? Or is it all under one username and password? That's a really good question. As long as we have that employee's name and email, they can each have their own unique login. And then you, we can track that too, because if somebody leaves your organization and you don't want them to have access to that, you just let us know, we'll remove them, that access goes away. So that's a really good question. Thank you for asking that. And then okay. also, can you briefly just tell the difference between a complaint versus a customer review? Sure. Really, it's up to the consumer as to what they want to file, if they want to file a review or a complaint. But we do not allow consumers to do both. So in the off chance that somehow something would slip through and you're like, and sometimes that can happen early on where they'll file a complaint and you have not had the opportunity to respond to that, then they'll file a review. We we don't allow consumers to double dip. They can either do one or the other. And we always say a complaint trumps a review. Uh, we allow um, consumers to choose if somebody wants to say, you know what, I'm just gonna file a review or I just wanna file a complaint. Um, and then there are times when a consumer says, you know what, I heard from the business, um, I don't want to file that review any longer. Those That does not happen very often, and it cannot be a, uh, a condition upon which a business responds to a complaint or a review, uh, but it is so important to respond either to a review or a complaint. As I said earlier, I just think it really shows an engaged business and, and how you respond communicates a lot to consumers. Um, so if you if you just you know quickly fill out that response, get back to us. And not, not all complaints necessarily get published. There are some parameters around that. Um, it will show that you had a complaint, but sometimes the details, like if, if somebody mails that in or there's a lot of attachments, sometimes that, that complaint won't get um, published, but the complaint will show up there. 
is there a more specific question or did that answer your your question? So again, maybe give me a little bit more detail if that if that didn't um, answer that question for you. And then we're going to go back. We'll look at the business profile. <clears throat> Here's the profile for load companies. You can see that they have a few customer reviews. Um, they had 10 and here's the average Just nine complaints in the last three years and three complaints closed in the last 12 months. Yes. Your screen's not on. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Here, here we, we are. <laughs> Back to boy. Here's their business profile. Again, everything that we talked about in there, the letter grade, your accreditation, customer reviews, customer complaints, business information. Here's where you can click right to their website. Uh, and then here's what it is that they do. These are their TOBs, type of business categories. Their primary is property management. Then they offer these wide variety of other things as well. Business details, their address, how long their files open, how many years have they been in business, how long have they been accredited? Uh, and then some other entities within their organization and who the primary people are. And again, here's an example of a review. I was recently locked out of my apartment. Gosh, we've all had this happen. Um, so, you know, these are great. Somebody came to their rescue right away. So I encourage businesses to go and get those reviews because Oftentimes, people fill out a customer review when they're in a heightened state of anxiety or frustration. Um, and we don't often fill out a customer review when we've had a great interaction. So that's why that review solution is a great tool. Uh, when you know that a consumer has had a really good interaction with your business, just, you know, this is what has worked for my businesses over the last 12 years is they just say to them, hey, would you mind letting the BBB know how we're doing? And so many times they'll say yes. And you say, well, would you like a text message or should I send you an email? You can do it right then. It it really gives them an opportunity to, to do it right after they've had that positive interaction. So, and again, an additional webinar you can watch for to come out is on the review solution. And we have that third party provider is on that webinar and they really, they are in that review world and they know reviews inside and out. So it's an, it's a great uh, webinar to engage in if you have some questions or in, interested in it and want to just do a little bit deeper dive. Are there any other questions, comments? There's a question not, in regards to complaints. If you receive a complaint, does it hurt your rating? The answer to that is no. Um, with a caveat, if you get a, a significant number of reviews within a period of time, it can affect your rating, but one complaint over an extended period of time does not affect the business's rating. But if you get a handful of them, it can. Again, like I said, it, it shows those peaks and valleys in a business. And it <clears throat> the business that I referred to earlier, um, during that time, uh, because she got a handful, like I say, within, uh, I want to say within a two or three month period, that did affect her her rating again for a period of time. So we know that, like I said earlier, we know that there's highs and lows and peaks and valleys. Uh, and in the long term scope of your business, it shouldn't affect you negatively over a long period of time. I hope that answered that question. Here, this is a good question. I have an A minus rating. How can I get to an A plus? You know, that we have an algorithm that, that assigns a rating to a business. And there are, I believe, 10 things that go into that. Length of time in business, organizational size, um, 
complaint volume. Uh, and again, this is something that your account rep can help you with. They can take a look at it. Most often, if a business has an A minus rating and they they have not been uh, to an A or an A plus, it's because of the length of time in business. They just have not been open long enough. But what I will tell you is the majority of businesses accredited with the BB have an, have an A minus to an A plus rating. And not a big differentiation, you know, an A is an A. Um, just like in school, we rate these businesses A plus to F. You have to have a B or better to be accredited with us. And again, your account manager can help you dive into that rating a little bit more if you've got some questions or if you're just like, oh, well, I just need more time in business. Um, that's a that's a waiting game. Any new questions? I'm not seeing any more. OK, well, again, thank you so much for taking the time uh, to spend your lunch with us. Uh, as Jenny said, you will receive an email from her with the with the webinar that's being recorded right now, with the PowerPoint that I shared with you and with my contact information. And if you are not shoot, sure who your account manager is, I will make sure that I shoot them an email and um, get you in touch with them. But know that your account manager um, isn't making a phone call just to, to waste your time. They really want to take that time to do an account review with you and make sure that you are able to maximize your accreditation with us. We are so grateful that you've invested in BBB accreditation and want it to work for you uh, to the absolute best of your ability and ours. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you so much, Jesse, too, for yours. I know your schedule is always busy, so we appreciate you taking the time to help us out with this. So. Um, just real quick as well, um, just wanted to let you guys know to please continue to check out our website, bbbinc.org, for all of the future and upcoming events that we do have um, scheduled. On August 13th and 15th is the Re Review Solution uh, webinar that Jesse was talking about earlier. Um, on Tuesday the 13th, it's at 9 a.m. and on the 15th, it is at 1 p.m. So just to let you know that central time. And again, for all of our other upcoming uh, webinars and events that we have. So please, definitely, uh, we look forward to seeing you guys all there again and hope you're excited to start including these additional benefits into your business on a daily basis if you weren't aware about them already. Um, and then lastly, in the uh, follow-up email, like Jesse mentioned, there will be a link to a survey for you to fill out. Please give us your feedback. We're always striving to do better, and we're always looking for new ideas as well. So if there's anything that you would like to see us present on or even come to you, out to an organization to present, please let us know because we would love to talk to you about those opportunities. So again, everyone, thank you for your time. Have a wonderful afternoon and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.